Okay, hello, my name is Kay Elder. I uh, started working at Bourne Hall Clinic, the IVF clinic, in 1984. And so I've been participating in IVF and teaching IVF for more than 30 years. Uh, before joining Bourne Hall Clinic, I was a professional student with a degree in chemistry, then uh, biochemistry, a PhD in molecular biology, and then finally I studied medicine at Cambridge University. So in, during the, uh, the years that I've been interacting with people doing IVF, it became very clear to me that it, it, it is absolutely essential to have the correct theoretical background in order to understand what you're doing. In, and that is the only way that you will lead to clinical success in IVF. So I devoted a lot of my life to writing books about what I would have liked to know before I started doing IVF and while I was doing IVF. So, uh, so far there have been seven textbooks published. And um, with this background, we have decided that um, understanding that educating embryologists is of paramount importance, we have decided to put together a course that is based upon our experience as uh, people who have worked for a very long time in IVF. And the course will cover the features that we think are essential background from laboratory aspects to theoretical aspects. And it is uh, composed of eight modules which will be delivered online by a series of videos and lectures with uh, supplementary material also available online. Hello, my name is Alpesh Doshi and I'm a consultant clinical embryologist. I have been uh, in the field of embryology for uh, just over 20 years now. I uh, have been leading one of the very um, successful and leading IVF units in London, the Centre for Reproductive and Genetic Health, and I had uh, started with them in 1999. Um, we have been involved in education, uh, Joyce Harper and myself, for many, many years now, uh, offering clinical um, education such as embryo biopsy workshops and so on and we've been doing this for the past 15 years together. We have decided to launch the uh, certificate in clinical embryology and um, the aspects uh, of clinical embryology are going to be covered in the form of a logbook as well. These are the practical aspects of the uh, certificate and each module will have certain aspects, uh, practical aspects covered via demonstrations of the procedure. For this, you will need to have a uh, mentor or supervisor who signs off the logbook and um, certifies that these procedures have taken place by yourself or have been performed by yourself. Once the logbook is complete, the exit exam uh, would also cover some aspects of practical examinations in the form of an OSCE exam. So you would need to travel to the, your nearest uh, destination where there is an OSCE center, whereby there will be stations, practical stations, which will take uh, into consideration all the aspects of clinical embryology, such as andrology, egg collections, fertilization checks, embryo transfers, and so on. And we will examine you on the practical aspects of these procedures which you have already performed via your logbook. And then at the end there's also a uh, essay that you will need to write which will um, take care of uh, one aspect of the exam as well. And finally there will be a viva exam or a oral exam whereby the examiners will be traveling from the UK to examine you and offering you the certificate on completion of these different aspects of the certificate. And I'm Joyce Harper, I'm Professor at University College London and the Institute for Women's Health and I've been running master's courses that have trained embryologists for over 20 years and with Alpesh and others been running workshops on various aspects of embryology and embryo biopsy for over 20 years. So with Kay and Alpesh I'm very passionate about the certificate in clinical embryology so we have the eight modules and the, the, the practical parts that Alpesh has talked about. And 
To start off with, we are only going to deliver the exams in Egypt and India, just for practical reasons, but anyone can take the, the course. And we're going to offer this in two ways. If you're not working in an IVF lab, you'll be able to just do the taught component, and uh, this will give you a, a certificate just in the taught component of clinical embryology. But ideally, those working in the IVF lab will do the full certificate, and that's where you do the eight exams and the logbook and the exit exam. So if you want further information about this and wish to apply, you need to hold a BSc or equivalent um, in, in the fields of uh, science and medicine. And all the information and the application form are on the Embryology and PGD Academy website. Thank you very much.